Hello everyone. I've come on today to show you another little envelope journal or journal made with envelopes, however you want to look at it. Uh, this particular journal, uh, and I made it in a Christmas scene because I had an idea behind it, but it would be fabulous to be made in a, other colors and you could use it uh, as a coupon holder or things like that. This particular one is Christmas themed because I had in mind gift receipts and um, Christmas lists, that kind of thing. But as you can see, when you open it, it's filled with pockets. Now, these also would be a really cute way to send a friend um, die cuts or stickers. Oh, there's some stickers right here. Yeah, lovely Halloween stickers in our Christmas book. But things that you could send flat. Um, you could store ATCs in here. You could... Uh, put images in a, a book like this. This is made with five envelopes that are all the same size. Oops, I'm out of frame. Sorry about that. Let me back up just a little bit. There we go. Um, you could add more envelopes, just increasing the depth of your spine. You could um, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you might want to do. I put a tie closure just because that's what I wanted to do, but you could do a magnetic closure or something that wrapped around the front, whatever that you, I mean, it's it's got a lot of options, a lot of possibilities. Uh, if you like videos like this, and if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell notification. But now we will go on and I will show you how to create this accordion envelope pocket journal. Have a great day. Hello. So I'm going to use um, a sheet of cardstock for this envelope journal. I'm going to use a sheet of this cardstock. This is just a package from Hobby Lobby of um, premium cardstock. Then I'm going to use a few sheets of paper or pieces of paper out of this uh, recollections pad. This one came from Michaels and um, it was I think last year's. Um, I'm on a spending freeze, so I'm not buying anything new this year until 2020. So I've got a few sheets pulled out of that. Um, this one's really pretty and shiny. Uh, this is uh, one of the cut apart sheets, and I'll probably use a piece of that on the cover. And this I'm going to use for the cover with this. The one or the other of these is not quite strong enough, so I'm going to double this up so that I end up with um, uh, two layers for my uh, cover. I didn't really want to put tag board in it. I thought that this will do. So I'm going to have those. Then I have some envelopes. You can use any size envelope you want. Um, I happen to have... Uh, let's see, is there five of these? Is that what I decided on? Five, which will make ten pockets this particular way. And these envelopes are five and a half by eight and three eighths, which is an odd measurement. But they are old card envelopes that I got somewhere along the line um, and I've had in my stash. Now they're partially glued together. Some of them are glued together. I'll be adding a little more glue any place it's not. And um, what we're making is a pocket envelope. So I also have some Christmas ribbons that I got at Joann's when they clearanced out their ribbon last, last year. So I have all of those out for decoration and for tying things. I didn't know what I was going to want. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through and make sure that all these little flaps 
are glued down, but make sure that I don't get glue inside my envelope. Okay, the next step is to take all of our envelopes and fold them in half, just like so, okay? And I am going to use a bone folder and make sure that they're very well folded in half. Now, I know that I want little thumb slots in mine, so I want to go ahead and make these now because if I don't, um, I won't be able to get into there easily with my, um, with my punch. So, we're going to find the center of all of the this is a centering ruler, by the way. It, uh, it starts at zero and you work out. And if you get it at the same mark on both sides, then right in the middle is your center. And having the center will help me to line up my little punch. That is not folded exactly right. You could eyeball that, but I just really wanted to get it as close to center as possible. Now because I use my punch this way quite a bit, I have marked it. There's a center mark right there and then there's two marks up from the center on my punch. And that way I can slip this in and when I punch it, I 
I came pretty close to get it the same every time. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually use the previous punched spot. It's not quite the same. I'll have to do it again. There we go. I might be able to punch them both at the same time. We'll have to see. Yep, that will be good. That will mean they'll line up just a little bit nicer. You do want to make sure that you're not punching the folded edge, that you're punching the edge where that you have two sides of your envelope. And our next step will be to stick together the center portions of all of our, um, no it's not, it's to cut off the edges. We've got to trim the edges off right here. Sorry, <laughs> forgot that part. What we're going to do is we're going to, now we're going to do it this way because I'm not very good to, that way. We're going to just barely take off this edge, okay? And by barely, I mean a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, now that all of our envelopes will open up on both sides, just like so, we're going to go in here and we're going to put these pieces together so that as we pull our envelope open, it will flex. And we're going to put the middle sections together about an inch in from each side. Okay? like so. Right in here and here. And we're going to do that to all five of our envelopes. And I am going to do that with a little bit of quarter inch tape and a little bit of glue. And I'm going to use both because the tape will hold everything in place for the time being and the glue will keep it from undoing later. I'm not going to take my tape all the way to the top and I'm just I'm going to sort of eyeball it. I'm going to just kind of put it in about an inch in.
Okay, once you get all of the envelopes put together where they've been folded, you then want to put all of your envelopes together. And we're going to do that in between each envelope. Now you don't want to, you want to pay attention if you've got two different colors of envelopes and make sure that they're set in there the way you want them. Um, so I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to turn this over like this so that I can put it together. And what I want to do is, I want to put a piece of tape across the bottom. Like so. And I'm sorry, visually I have to do it but then I want the next piece to go right there. Okay. So across the bottom and in the center. And once again, I'm going to use my glue. I'm going to put the glue on both sides of this center piece. And then above this one. Now I didn't, I put that tape close to the bottom because I wanted it held together down there. And then I'm going to turn this over. And we're going to line the bottom up. Line up the corners. And we're going to stick it together. And then we're going to do that exact same thing again. Oh, that piece is not long enough to go across the bottom. but it will go up this middle. All right, now that we have our accordion made and we've got it sort of sealed, what we're going to do is wrap it and make it a cover for it. Now, this is perfect, like I said, for um, gift receipts and maybe each person has their own envelope or pocket or uh, you can put a wish list in there and then receipts. Now, these pockets, and there are actually little pockets right here that don't open up real well. You could tuck uh, a gift card or something like that in there if you wanted to. Okay, 
So now we need to make our cover. Oops. <laughs> there goes my little pile of ribbons. Um, I wasn't sure exactly which one I was going to use. So, all right. So our cover, and we want it to be about an eighth of an inch bigger than our envelope. And that's on each edge. So this is five and five eighths. So it'd be five and seven eighths inch tall or wide, however you want to look at it. Five and seven eighths by. Oh, let's see here. I need a little piece of paper. Of course, I don't have one. Here's a little envelope I can write on. Um, five and seven eighths. And this is just my envelope. This is, we need two four and a quarters. One quarter because it is four and an eighth right there. So four and a quarter would make it a quarter of an inch bigger out here and then we need about an eighth of an inch on the back this is times two plus an eighth so I have four and a quarter four and a quarter that's eight and a half plus an eighth so that's eight and five eighths So I need a piece of paper, five and seven eighths by eight and five eighths. And we're going to start with our piece of red because it's our inside. going to give it an extra squinch because the back is just a bit thicker than an eighth of an inch. Okay, so now I want two pieces of paper. I want this red one and I want this one, both to be cut like that. That's what I was afraid of. It didn't quite cut right. Ah, shoot. Which one is off? Okay. This one's off. If it's off the same all the way around, I can make a border with the other one. So that is my plan. All right. Let's trim a tiny little bit off of this. So 
all about making it look right. Very good. And I'm just gonna glue these two together. Like I said, if I'd have had a thicker cardstock or something that uh, I w really felt that needed tag board, I would have done so. But I think these two layers of cardstock will be fine. These are just lighter weight cardstocks, and that's what I had. So if you use a heavier cardstock, you might not need this. Okay. Now, to get this to fold around our piece, like so, I'm actually going to use my scoreboard, but you wouldn't have to. You could measure and just use your um, bone folder. I am going to find four and a quarter. And I'm very carefully and slowly going to score this. See, I tend to fall off. Do it gently so you get it straight. Then I'm going to turn it around and do four and a quarter from the other side. That gives me that little bit of spine that I needed in the back. If you get this all folded while it's still wet, your um, cover will position itself very nicely on these folds. It's not a good idea to let it get too dry. That glue gets hard, it's harder to fold. There we go, see? And now this is going to tuck right in there, like so. We want to do a couple of things. First, we want to decide what we're going to do as far as ribbon goes. And um, I have a couple of choices. I have, but I like this one. So we're going to use this ribbon to tie it closed. Now you could uh, put some other kind of closure on it, say a magnetic closure or something like that. Today I'm going to use a ribbon closure. That is if I can get into the ribbon.
I want enough of the ribbon to go all the way across the back like so and tie. And it's better to cut some off than not have enough. So I'm going to leave about a foot on each side. Yeah, more like 10 inches. I think 10 inches will be plenty. So I need twice that much. I'm just going to use a little of this sticky tape to hold my ribbon in place temporarily. Set that aside for the moment while we work on our envelopes. Now, these envelopes need to be attached all the way around the south side. That will give you one more little pocket in there if you do it that way. Okay? So what we're going to do is... We are going to put sticky tape across the bottom. And up both sides. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side as well because it's easier to get the tape on right now than it will be once we start putting things in the cover. We're only going to do the cover one at a time, but it's just a little easier to get this tape on. Once again, we're going to run our line of glue just inside that tape. And 
Now you want to check and make sure you don't have any wet areas on your um, ribbon. If you do, you may want to, um, as soon as we get this in there, uh, put a piece of wax paper in, which is what I'm going to do. Now, um, I want to just set my envelopes in my cover and bring it up so that I have a little bit of hangover on both edges. Okay? And then, like I said, I'm going to tuck a little piece of wax paper right in there because my ribbon is still just a little bit wet. I didn't have enough time to let it dry. Okay, and now we're going to do the next side. Like I said, this one is also just a touch wet. So we're going to stick in some wax paper. Okay. And now let's decorate up our cover. wasn't sure if one of these would fit. I think that's too big. That one's kind of too big too. I think we can make this one fit. So neither that or I like this one.
that should be dry by now. I'll probably put them back in once I finish up the video. Um, I just added these faux photo corners because I thought it needed a little bit of bling. I think that's really cute. I think that this is a perfect little accordion pocket project. Easy, simple, you can tuck it in your purse. You can make this with any size envelope you want. You can make it large, you can make it small. Um, I'm gonna tie this closed like so. And this is our, oops, it would help if you could see it real close. Let me bring you in. Um, this is our envelope journal. I think it is uh, number four. I'll double check on that. Um, it's three or four. Hmm. Guess I should pay attention before I start talking. Anyways, uh, this is uh, it all finished up. I'm going to read you a quote for my 1001 Ways to Creativity. And then I need to get on with my day. The creative heart treats every experience the world offers as a gift. That's really great. Okay, guys, go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.